it's just it's just weird and uncomfortable. Like, okay, fine, you want to make the the sexually explicit Harley Quinn movie and stuff. All right, fine, whatever. Why is it in the style of Batman the Animated Series? I don't yeah. get that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I feel like I'm a child being molested because <laughs> it's it's like they chose the There's weirdest the art style, right the most innocent art style that we all know and associate with youth and Batman. And then they make these weird fucking scenes that just are wired. Like, it bothers me. They're, it's It's creepy. Oh, you know, it it's, it's funny because, like, people have been posting this this particular uh, screen grab from this where Harley Quinn is, like, out of her costume and it's right before she, like, you know, kind of sort of rapes Nightwing almost. Um, yeah. She's wearing just her underwear and she's, like, bending over in her closet. And someone posts the screen grab of her ass and they go, she's got two butt cracks. <laughs> she's got a crack above her panties and she's got a crack in her panties. But there's no crack transitioning between the two so she has two ass cracks <laughs> and i'm like or wow that's so... good yeah yeah i guess i'm like wow that's really really weird and oddly specific and poorly thought out and it just it looks weird in batman the animated series to do something like that like <laughs> it just it feels corruptive and and destructive to the the original and like you know I could just write this off as, oh, well, fuck this thing because, you know, they use that art style. If, like, the original creators of the series weren't involved, but Bruce Timm being there really fucks it up. Uh, yeah. Bruce Timm being involved in this, like, heavily really makes me go, this is just not okay. Like, you're stomping on your legacy, and, man, it's it's sad to look at. 